What's up guys, my name is Jem and I have a little bit of a different video today for you guys. You probably already saw the title of the video, but I got this package from Aspire Media who uh, published or made, I forget which one, uh, Layers of Fear, which is one of my favorite horror games that I've played and one of my favorite games that I've played on the channel. So this uh, box should have some promotional items from the game, some very rare items, and I'll explain in just a second how I got those. But I'm very excited to start opening up this box. Let's go ahead and get the trusty old X-Acto knife and start besting this bad boy open. I just broke the X-Acto knife by accidentally pushing the thing the wrong way. Great way to start the video, Jim. So the reason I got this package is not for my awesome gamer skills or anything like that. They were simply doing a promotion on Rely on Horror, which is an awesome site that uh, talks about all kinds of horror media, including video games. And they basically had a thing with uh, with Aspire Media where they basically said, leave a comment below on the article and you could have a chance to win something from Aspire Media, a promotional item. Now, I left a comment, obviously, but basically they were replying to everyone who left a comment and with an email to Aspire Media saying, uh, please email us and give us your information basically and we'll send you something. So I don't know what I got uh, at this point, obviously that's why I'm doing an unboxing, right? But there's a chance that I got a very rare holographic card that I'm really hoping for. And when uh, it's one of those cards that when you shift it, the image changes and what it would be if I did get that particular item is that when you look at it one way you see the uh, the nice version of the painting actually it's of the artist itself it's not the painting of his wife uh, from the uh, spoiler from the end of the game holy shit there's a bunch of stuff in here this stuff is all just on top of the box itself uh, let's see we got holy shit dude they actually sent quite a bit of stuff in here. Let's start looking through this stuff little by little and uh, see exactly what we got here. I'm gonna I'm gonna move a little bit closer to the to the camera here, so so I can hold this stuff up too. So let's see exactly what this is. We have this really nice uh, layers of fear, like kind of um, like a wax stamp that looks really cool. I think that's coming out on the camera. You see the L O F. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and bust this thing open first and see exactly what this says. It's obviously a letter. Am I opening this right? No idea. No idea. I've never opened up a letter with a wax seal. Go figure. My esteemed colleague, I hope this letter finds you well. I wish to thank you for taking the time to review my art. As you have no doubt heard by now, it has been a horrific, that, that horrific is crossed out, a taxing year for me. The music and laughter that once filled my home have been replaced by a deafening silence. To complicate matters, I swear I can still hear a faint melody, her melody, permeating the house on occasion. If I didn't know better, I would say I'm going mad. Luckily, my drive to finish this later work has kept me relatively, relatively is crossed out, it's kept me sane. In fact, it's all I've been able to focus on for quite some time. Even alone now, I can still hear my wife asking, how many times does it take my love? Ha! as if perfection could be reduced to a simpler number. That obsession, obsession is crossed out, that drive, is what will set this latest project apart from the rest. As you will soon see for yourself, it has turned out to be quite a lovely piece of art. Alas, I must finish this correspondence as I hear that music calling again, and it is too distracting, distracting is crossed out, it is too difficult for me to concentrate. However, I sincerely look forward to hearing your thoughts on what I think may be my best work yet, my magnum opus, cordially, and the signature is actually all scratched out. You should be able to see that there. I know my webcam sucks. I should have said that right in the beginning, but that's what I got to show this video to you guys, and I really wanted to share this with y'all. P.S. A passing thought as our grand reveal grows near. Isn't it funny how repeated viewings can provide one an entirely new perspective? And I wonder if that's a reference to the multiple possible endings in the original game. Let's start digging into some of this other stuff that's here. I have quite, quite a number of these cards here. Portrait of the artist, I suppose. He's got his paintbrushes in hand, very much indicating that it is the uh, protagonist of the first game. Because, you know, you guys know they're making Layers of Fear 2, right? Right? 
I think that's probably why they wanted to send out some love to some of their fans so that we could help to let people know that this game is coming out. These all appear the same. I'm like, is there some secret to these? They probably just had a bunch of them and they randomly threw them in the box. There are some different ones. These are some of the paintings that you see throughout the house in the first game or in the game at this point. There's no second game yet, but it is coming. Let me see. I want to make sure you can kind of get an idea. See that? Let's see. There are, there are several different ones here. They basically just included a bunch of different copies of them. I mean, I guess that is appropriate because you would see the same paintings all throughout the house. Let me see. I know there's at least one more that I saw in this little stack here. Hold on now. Ah, yes. Perhaps my favorite. This is like the first one that you see in the game. It's in the first, it's in the first uh, little room, the entrance room to the house. God, I remember this game so well. I haven't... I haven't played it since then. I, I did play the DLC, um, I forget what it's called, but I played that on a stream one time. That was really cool as well. Let's see, ah, here's a good one. In fact, a really good one. I freaking love this one. <laughs> it's so creepy, it's so weird. He's all melted. Ah, oh, that's so cool, man. Let's see. Ah, oh, interesting. This is actually... A photo this isn't one of the pieces of art on the wall but I have to assume it's the artist and his wife and it's all scratched up scratched out you should be able to see that somewhat on the camera so let me see there is absolutely more stuff in here there's the package at the very bottom that I haven't even got to opening yet this is a, a letter let's see just wanted to take a quick moment for thank to thank you for covering Layers of Fear. As you'll discover, there is a compelling story and plenty of secrets to find in the finished game. So I think what this is, is this is a, a press kit from when the game first came out. So a lot of this stuff doesn't really make sense. Um, but that's why it says to thank you for covering the game. It's not to me personally for playing it and posting it on YouTube for roughly 100 views. Um, these are for the people that actually covered the game. It says the videos are under embargo until February 14th. So yeah, this is from back then. I guess they just had extra press kits laying around. But uh, it literally has a Steam code for the game, which uh, I'm not sure if that would still work. Obviously, I could give away the code to somebody, um, even though the game is usually on sale pretty frequently. But this is perhaps the most interesting part of the package. So... Let's start opening this up. There's a very similar looking letter that it also has a wax seal on it. First and foremost, that's on top. We're getting to the biggest part last, so don't click off this damn video yet. Because the last one kind of feels like it might be a book. Yeah, this is the same letter as the first one that I read off. This is different though. Children's Bedtime Stories. Very interesting looking. I'm trying to remember or think back if this was an item that was uh, in the game. Oh, this goes along with the DLC. Look at this. You could see the, the wolf and the uh, Little Red Riding Hood imagery that we saw in the DLC game. Uh, and yeah, it actually has multiple stories in here. The Tale of Bobby, Sue, and Gale. Let me show you guys some of these as well. Just to get an idea of the art in here. And you can see that there are actually stories. I can see, I can, I'm reading it off the camera right now. Come little darlings and hear the tale of three... What does it say? Of three curious children, Bobby, Sue, and Gale. Down into the basement... Or on a dark stormy day, our three little rascals chanced for to stray. Very interesting. Uh, uh oh, it looks like things go things go very wrong by the end of the story. There, let's see. I know that light is a little bright. Ooh, interesting. I'm definitely gonna have to take a take some time to look at this later on. I suppose maybe I could do a reading of this uh, for a video if you guys want. Look at this. This is very much an image from the DLC. Actually, this might have been in the main game as well. I know the DLC definitely tied back to the imagery in the main game. That is so cool, man. Let's see. And then we have the big, the big bad boy. Oh, you know what it is? 
I know what it is. I know what it is. It's not a book. Alright. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. I'm gonna try to accurately show this. It's kind of hard with the light, but let's see. Y'all see that shit? Bro. That is so lit. I thought it was gonna be a little card like this big. It's it's literally framed and it even has like a little kickstand for the frame where you can set it up anywhere. I am so impressed with this. It looks so fucking good. That is so ridiculous. Holy shit, I can't believe I got this. This is the one item that I really wanted. All the other stuff is kind of a bonus for me. The whole package is really cool. Oh my god, I did not expect this much stuff. I did not expect this much stuff and I didn't expect this to be the final item. I kind of thought at this point that I wasn't getting uh, this item. Let's see. Look, there's the thumbnail <laughs> where you can see me and see the picture at the same time, right? Uh, bro, that is so fucking cool. I'm really blown away. Thank you to Aspire Team for being very generous to share these items with just regular fans. All you had to do was take the time to comment on that article, guys. So, you know, it goes to show sometimes you see something that's like, oh, you have a chance to win. Take the chance, guys. I've won really cool stuff online like this before, signed stuff and things like that. So sometimes when you see these things, I know you're like, I'm not going to win. It's a long shot, whatever, whatever. Just take the chance guys as you can see sometimes it really pays off these items are so cool i'm definitely going to put these up in a safe spot the portrait i might just hang it up on the wall so that when i walk past it i can see it transforming that is so cool i am a bit blown away right now when i decided to turn the camera on and unbox this stuff in front of the camera i didn't really i, I was like there could just be one item in the box and i turned out to be so wrong there was a bunch of really cool stuff in here so that being said guys i hope you uh, enjoyed this unboxing experience with me i've never done a video like this before so i would love to know what you think um but yeah i mean all this all this really cool stuff i'm so shocked and pleased anyway guys thank you so much for hanging out i always really appreciate it and i will see you next time bye